Street is that you shine like a real hasheria with my NSX. Got me interested. Well, then I believe you're in for a treat. Oh, yeah? Well, bring it on. The show continues, kid. But watch out. You're driving Ren's Skyline this time, and there's no word to tell you how crazy she is about that car. Can't blame her. The R34 is a legend. It's a kaiju. Skyline is an icon. It's a powerful car that takes skill to control. Yep. Ren spent years taming that beast. That car got nicknamed Godzilla for a reason. So basically, you crash Ren's car, better leave the planet. Not bad for a rookie. That path is perfect to get a taste of the Wangan spirit. An absolute myth among Japanese street racing. Yeah, picture the Tokyo Bayshore route with one thing in mind, never slowing down. In a Wangan race, you gotta go fast, friend. Well, guys, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. This is the skyline we're talking about. Let's keep the scratches to a minimum, shall we? Dragons are massive. You got a wish to make? Sharp turn, careful. Shingo missed a turn during a midnight race, supposedly because he was dazzled by the moonlight. Oh, shut up. I remember that. Alright, 
It's just you and me this time. Why don't we put the whole festival euphoria on hold for a while and get a proper face off? Let me show you what Toby is all about. Relax. I've seen what you can do. Plus, I'll give you some tips on the way. The key to Toge is being able to balance the brake and gas pedal at every turn. One wrong move and you're out. This technique isn't easy, but when you pull it off, you feel like the greatest driver alive and the coolest. Tonight your ride is a 3rd gen 2002 Mazda RX-7. Lightweight, compact, a sick rotary engine, and one hell of a look. That's an honest car, and she seems pretty confident you can beat me with it. Let's prove her wrong. tricky at high speed. Make sure you don't lose control. No shame in trying again. Be kind, rewind. And now, all the way down. That's the best and also the toughest part, so stay sharp. and this is it. Come on, show me some real toge driving.
Because you did beat Hayato in that toga duel. I knew it. There's something about you. Hayato is one of the best racers I know. Kudos. And now, welcome to my playground, the drip track. As you already know, drifting was born in Japan. That is where you'll find the biggest drifting scene and some of the best drifting spots, of course. Like, the EBC Circuit is one of the most famous places in the world for drifting. Designed by drifters, for drifters. Who knows? Maybe Motorfest will get you drifting there someday. How do you feel about my modded RX-7? Tougher yet still elegant? That is my RX-7 2.0 for you. Because Japanese car culture isn't only famous for its drifting history, it also brought modded cars to another level, among many other things. Come on, you're almost done. Push that beauty to its limit. You have my permission.
technologically advanced evil ever. Another JDM gem. You're welcome. Toji would say it's the best of them all. rotate in the opposite way. Cool, huh? And that's how you save on weight. Precisely. Let's keep the scratches to a minimum, shall we? throw a party. Don't get too excited. You're just a host in that fantasy. Watch out. Hosts can be dangerous, Mrs. Abernathy. Hey, I got that, Ref. Nerds, both of you. Let's keep the scratches to a minimum, shall we? Just a few seconds away, guys. It's now or never. This was the Mitsu Lancer Evo X with a special Toji custom. And you just showed you're totally worthy of that car. Oh, 
Newbie's plan hard to get. Hold on. This is the final race, all together this time. You guys ready? You bet! Okay, we're dealing with a real troublemaker. It was a pleasure showing you around, my friend. And you definitely fulfilled your end of the bargain. True. Didn't get bored, not even once. Yeah, okay. You kind of did a good job. There's clearly a spot for you in the group whenever you decide to come to Japan for some more action. Is it a festival or an actual street brawl? yourself a special car for this race. What a ride. Courtesy of the Motorfest, I presume. A pumped up Toyota Supra A80. A solid choice. Could it be more appropriate, actually? The Supra was specifically designed at the time to rival most of our cars. Skyline, NSX, or RX-7. And that customization looks flawless. Pretty cool. But remember, nothing beats the R34. Funny way to pronounce NSX. Shinjuku style, huh? Well, we'll see about that. You gotta admit, it feels just like Tokyo. Well, I guess they did do a pretty good job capturing the vibe of our streets. Nobody didn't get to drive high as MX-5. Fair point! Who knows? Another time, maybe. There's still so much about Japanese racing we didn't touch on. Are we talking, guys, or are we showing our new member who the top dogs are in this pack? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
少しだ切り札を残してるなら今が使い時だぞ Did you get that driver? He said let's punch it! There's a reward vehicle waiting for you. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 5 You'll have a great day, and peace out.